right here. Let's talk business. Okay. After you. Always walk behind the other person. So. Here's the thing. So. Here. Are the goods. Yeah, I know it's been hard for you to get some since the war. Yeah. Since the war started, why you down here? Well, it's been really, you know, I couldn't be able to get these shoes. Now. Yeah, I mean, good things do come out of war. This is how they will survive the horrors of battle. We need more of this. Yes to war. First two, up to the barricade. Shoot! Take cover! Reload. So this drill right here, this prepares them mentally and physically mm -hmm. for war. Right. So mentally, they're going to be running in guns a-blazing. People yeah. are going to be shooting, they're going to be shooting. Right. They have to learn how to take cover when shots are coming in their way. Yeah. They also have to learn how to shoot accurately to hit their enemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't want any misfires and they want to reload properly. And um, what would happen if they did not reload properly? If they reload improperly, that could risk their lives. They could be shot. Uh, the trenches, as you can see, many of these aren't prepared for war, so yeah. they will also have to prepare those. Okay, yeah. But um, but this drill just helps the war effort, and it helps them just learn how to be amazing soldiers, right? Exactly. It improves the nationalistic spirit, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, yeah. Perfect. But um, in the trenches, would you consider that to help harden uh, their lives and help them um, endure more in life, too? Yes, boot camp is to repair, but mm -hmm. actually being in the trenches, right. that's what prepares them. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh. You guys want to play a game? No. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'll do it! Alright, two teams. Clark, Tilton. We call, we call Tilton. Tilton. Alright, you two over there. You guys over there. We're playing oh. capture the flag. Oh! Hey, you! So, um, sir, can you tell us um, how this game is going to help them and what oh. the benefit of this is? So 
basically this here, this land here acts as no man's land. That's okay. the primary feature in trench warfare. Right. So they're going to have to be alert, alert yeah. to uh, enemies coming into the no man's land. All right. So um, would you say that war is actually somewhat fun? Yeah. Oh, yes. Or here we have the iron youth. Yeah. These are our future. This is what we rely on. And this is all that's left of us. Yeah. Um, would you, do you like winning war? Oh, yes. It's a terrific thing. We need as many people as we can. The draft is one of the greatest things that has happened. I think we should draft more. Exactly. I mean, it opens up jobs, and um, it also just helps the economy. Yes, it's an excellent thing for the economy. We have more jobs. People are in work. We don't have any unemployment. Right. Just so great everyone's positions. Everyone's busy. Exactly. And then as long as someone dies, it gets opened up. Another yeah. person gets a job. He's more openings, more money, more better for the economy. Oh, that's great. Yes. Thank you for your time. So, um, so, can you mind telling us what is exactly going on here? So after training, uh, all our recruits go straight to the front line. Okay. They have rotations, they spend about a couple weeks up here, right. and then they move back. Why, why, why do they move back? So we don't want the men having uh, too much action up here, we want to rotate. Okay. So, um, but that was for their own welfare, correct? Exactly. So. That way, every single person on the field has an equal amount of training. So, in the army, when you, you rotate from like the back lines to the front and front to the back, yeah, it's like going on a vacation, right? Exactly. That's like what we that. want. That's pretty cool. So, war is like a vacation too. It's a fun vacation. Precisely. That's amazing. This is ingenious. War is so good. Yes. Military, you can get the dogs and the girls. Hello? That's the wrong salute for the wrong war, soldier. Better. So let's just you know recap what we did today. Yeah. So first, the recruits arrive, sent them through uh, the inspection stage by you. Yeah. So they arrive at the inspection house. They uh, get all the immunizations. Yeah. So they're prepared for any disease. It's right. very unlikely, but we just want to make sure they're healthy. Yeah, in the trenches and more. Yeah. And then we show them running. That was yep. their basic training part, mainly. Just teaching them all the basics. Yeah, they have to learn how to be fit and to get out of a tough situation. Okay, yeah, so they got to run fast. Yeah. Then we moved on to the little no man's land drill, right? Yeah, so uh, every battalion will see no man's land. Right. It's inevitable. So we have to prepare them. It uh, prepares them for... Strength and emotionally. Okay, emotionally you must be big. Yeah. Then we had a little, um, well, before No Man's Land, we had that shooting drill where they ran up. Yep, so we want to prepare them to be able to get in and out of combat, again, like I said, and to be able to shoot effectively. We want to promote very high accuracy. Right, and then we had the, after the No Man's Land drill, we had the actual special Yep, real bullets, uh, real guns. We want to make sure it's as real as possible to make them see what it's really like. Right. Now, um, what would you consider the big benefits of the war effort? Well, there are many benefits. So, first and foremost, we have the economy. It promotes huge economic right. growth. It provides lots of jobs. Yep. Jobs for men and women. Uh, people can go straight out of school into making money. And that's what a lot of people have problems doing with. So, th this, that happens in all countries too, correct? Exactly. So, most countries do have a draft. So, uh, pretty much every country involved in the war is flourishing economically. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. So they flourish economically, uh -huh. and then after that, does that still carry on even after the war? Yeah, so after war, uh, as you may know, it doesn't end immediately when the treaty is signed. We continue to have troops out abroad. Right, so it will continue, and yep. war also brings peace and happiness at the end. Yep, so at the signing of the treaty, we obviously have pretty much world peace, and that's what we want. We want peace and we want people to be able to live happy lives. So, in reality, all war really does is bring money, peace, and happiness for the entire world. Exactly.
and countries can go get new footholds and it solves problems also. Yep, gain land, you can encourage mo people moving into each country. That's brilliant, which also brings in more money. Yep. And do you consider a big benefit um, getting girls because of your uniform? Um, that's a big thing for many of our soldiers. So uh, It encourages them, doesn't yep, it? Yep, they go oh. into the service and they get wives and they start families. That's amazing. So yeah. it just helps this country even more. Yep, exactly. Well, thank you for your time. Sir. Thank you. Hope to see you out there. No, you won't. I guess good things really do come out of war. And he's still alive! Shoot it! Just stop. Wait, just shoot it. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it hit my head! It hit my head! It hit my head! Oh. There's probably nothing in there. Dude. Yeah, it's just here. a shell. Are we sure? Shoot it! 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 Sh